Hello, right, just before we start the video, just to let you know, in the middle of recording this, it started raining quite heavily. So if you hear the rain, that's what the funny noise is in the background. Hello, Rice. How are you guys? Have you had a good week? How's it been being back at school with all of your friends? I hope that you've had a really lovely time seeing your friends and seeing your teachers again and getting a bit more back to normal. Well, this week we're going to carry on in our story of Joseph and we've only got two more weeks left. We've got this week and next week and then we're going to move on to think about Easter. Now this week we are going to be thinking about the next part in the story. So last week we, Matt and Samuel read you the story where Pharaoh um, had some strange dreams and Joseph went to Pharaoh and said, with the help of God, with God's help, I can help you understand what those dreams mean. And we found that out about the years of plenty, where there were going to be seven years of lots of food, and then the years of famine, where there were seven years of no food, and how God helped them to prepare for that and use Joseph in that. Now, the next part of the story is down here in the video. You can choose which one you want to choose and then we will come back and have a little reflection, a little talk on that. So when you're ready, off you go. Three, two, one, go. I hope that you enjoyed that story. I hope you found one that you enjoyed watching there. There are a few for you to choose from. So this week we have seen... Um, Joseph's brothers have to go and get some food because they've got no food. And do they recognise jo Joseph when they go to Egypt? I don't think they do, do they? But does Joseph recognise his brothers? Hmm, yeah, they do. he does. I don't think his brothers would have been expecting to see Joseph, which is why they didn't recognise him. But Joseph, again, he probably wasn't expecting to see his brothers, but he recognised them. And I think I'd recognise the people that threw me into a pit many years beforehand if that happened. OK. And you might remember in the story that um, Joseph tested his brothers, didn't he? He put the money back in their sacks. And then he put the cup back in Benjamin's sack just to see if his brothers had changed, if they were going to tell the truth about what happened. And Joseph didn't do that to be mean, to be unkind to his brothers. I wonder who has ever fallen out with their brothers or sisters or with somebody at school or somebody else or done something wrong that they shouldn't have done. I know I have. I know I still do things wrong all the time. If you watched the Ignite video just now, I said that I've been a bit grumpy this week at school, mainly because I'm quite tired, because I'm not used to being back at school all the time either, like you guys. And so when I've been a bit grumpy, I've had to say sorry. I've had to say I'm sorry for that. Joseph tested his brothers not to be unkind to them, but to see if they have, their hearts have changed. I can't record this right now. Can I? So Joseph tested his brothers just to see if their hearts had changed, if they truly were sorry for what they did to him. And that word is called repentance. When we say sorry for something we have done, we repent. We say that we know that we have done wrong and we need to put it right again. And next week we're going to talk about what Joseph had to do for his brothers. And sometimes what we have to do for each other and what God has to do as well when we say sorry. And that's about forgiveness. But sometimes we don't just do things wrong against each other and have to say sorry. Sometimes we do things wrong against God and we have to say sorry to God as well. And when we say sorry to God for those things that we have done wrong, he forgives us. And that is amazing. And that's what we're going to talk about next week more. But this week I want you to think about when you've had to say sorry to somebody when you might have upset somebody or hurt them 
or being unkind or being rude to your mum or dad, you have to say sorry. And it means that I will try not to do it again. And that's okay. It's good that we say sorry. Sometimes you can say sorry straight away and sometimes it takes a while. But that's okay. So what we're going to do today is we're going to pray and we're going to, I want you to think of something you need to say sorry for this week. Maybe something you need to say sorry to God to. Maybe if you're getting a bit annoyed or angry or jealous. I don't know what it might be. It might be for gossiping. You might need to say sorry to God for something. And I want you to think about that thing that you want to say sorry to God for. So we're going to pray now. And we're going to uh, say sorry to God for our things that we've thought of. Are you ready? Dear God. Thank you that Joseph's brothers were able to say sorry to him. Thank you that they were able to realise that what they did to Joseph was not a good thing to do and they eventually were able to say sorry. God, we are sorry for all those things that we do wrong against you. God, today we want to say sorry for... and then say to God what you want to be sorry for. I pray that you will forgive us and forgive us of those things that we have done wrong. Thank you that you still love us even when we don't always do the right thing. Amen. Amen. I hope you have a good week and I will speak to you again soon. Bye bye.